Sup guys, it's Tenkosh and today we are doing beginner's guide for Hell is Others. This is a pretty complex game, it's a stressful game guys because you will die quite often because you are fighting with other people outside so that's a PvP game and you gotta be careful what you do. So we'll go through the basic things that will allow you to um, get more comfortable in Hell is Others world and don't stress that much about dying and you will know where to get weapons, how to get ammo and how to progress the questline. Let's go. So let's start with our room. That's pretty straightforward. You gotta water the bonsai every day with 200 blood and that blood isn't that hard to get. Even if you die quite often while you travel, you can use the bathroom, wash shirt and that will give you a specific amount of blood. The more you die, the more blood there will be. So uh, right now, let's see, we got 76 blood units for one run. Basically, in order to water the bonsai, if you are unlucky, you need to do at least four runs. Like that's the minimum, the maximum amount of runs that you will need to do to water the bonsai and get enough blood. So yes, you can put that blood over here and bonsai will be watered. When bonsai is full of blood, you can go to sleep and go to the next day. Moreover, in your room you have the drawers, that's the areas where you can store your stuff. What I would advise to you guys is to get stored... Uh, blood vials. Those don't go spoiled as a hearts do and other consumables. So the ones that have the leaf on them will get spoiled uh, if you sleep and on the next day they will have only half of their value, uh, half of the useful value. So for this average heart is 100 units. If we go to bed and use it tomorrow, it will have only 50 blood units. So it's not that crazy useful, but overall it's better than nothing. What I would advise you guys storing in those bedside tables, blood, and most importantly quest items. If you have quests to collect several rare items which are not really often met in the uh, in, in the Century City, I would advise you guys to store them unless you have all of them then you go out and go straight to the quest giver instead of wandering around the Century City otherwise you will die and you will lose everything you hard earned and that will be a disaster. Speaking about the quests, there are different quests, the goals, the tra trials and the tasks. The tasks are the hardest one in my opinion because they need you to collect different things. Some of those give you really good rewards. For example, this if ain't broke one will give you one mini fridge. But in order to finish it, you will need to get two duct tape, ten nails, one microchip and one light bulb. All of those are easy microchip, I haven't saw this ever. So you will have to wander around the areas which have electronics in order to get it. Some rewards have been delivered to your hotel straight away so you are not afraid of dying and losing them. Some of those will be the ones that you will have in your inventory and you can lose them. For example, for this quest, we will get Catan and Frag Grenades and those can be dropped if you die. So some rewards are... you can lose them, so be careful about that. As for the main goals, I won't spoil you that much, but so far on day 11 nothing really happened. Uh, we didn't get any crazy bonuses for the main goals. Uh, for the secondary quests, I advise you guys to go for the one that increase your inventory, you can check those uh, and uh, giving you the better passive buffs, so yeah, those are really really good. So for example, Display of Power Act 2 will give us two condo expansion units that will allow you to store more stuff in your apartment. Yeah, like Display of Power is actually really good, it gives you one inventory slot here, so check the rewards and uh, some of those might be really good. Now for Octave, Octave sells well, he buys stuff from you and in exchange you will get creeds, the money. Every day he have different deals and those are the items you can sell to him. Next day they will be different and like if you want to earn some creeds, you gotta think about the rewards when you go into the um, uh, Century City. You gotta think about the things that are being rewarded today and tomorrow and like get those because you can sleep and give them in on the next day. So if you need money, do that. Although, in my opinion, money doesn't matter that much in the early game, it's more important to do quests and get those permanent rewards that will increase your inventory size, your room and such. Because increasing the room, making it bigger and getting more furniture also gives you the better bonuses. So, for example, like Assault Rifle recoil reduction here for some items. You can check... Uh, what is giving those bonuses by clicking on something and opening the basement and here you can see like what do we have in use for example whiskey bottle will give us assault rifle reload speed so yeah depending on what we have 
they have different bonuses and when they are placed in your apartment they will give you those bonuses active when you play the game so those are actually pretty cool while we're waiting for the map to load for the uh, run to be ready let's take a look at the century city map here you have some important spots that you want to visit as you spawn specifically if you just died and you have nothing else on you there's a police station here you will have the uh, weapon storage in the locker Midlead park here you get an any of those park garden of simples and the uh, uh, Passage here there you can get the ammo Growing that's the main area for growing ammo So basically all the green areas will allow you to get ammo We are in the run already and those are really important because most people are there If you want to avoid confrontation try to avoid those places because most people will go to police station and get the weapon there if you are not ready for that, you can get killed. I even seen areas where you have several enemies grouped together. So we spawned at the random spot. Every time you spawn the random spot, you need this Zerk, whatever. And from here we can go to the garden of simples to get ammo. So let's do that. There we go. So in this area, straight away we get the bullet plan. There we go. So we got some ammo. And when you get some ammo, you already can be more comfortable because you can use your basic gun. Where is it? There we go. And uh, that gun will allow you to shoot enemies before they are next to you. Speaking about the gun, you can zoom out by pressing, like zoom out, uh, zoom in, <laughs> basically, by pressing the right mouse button. And here, as you can see, there is a small white thingy. That's the range of your weapon. That's how far your weapon will shoot. And when you shoot, there is a recoil, like how big the spread will be. So, uh, keep this in mind when you're doing something. Moreover, uh, some things like baseball bat, for example, will give you higher movement speed. And there is someone going down there. So, yeah. Another thing. You want to make sure if you want to fight someone or you want to avoid someone. So, for example, those guys, they will get your ass kicked. Be careful. Alright, let's kill this guy. Killing things is a good idea to earn blood because when they die, they will drop a heart and heart will actually give us the rewards of blood that you can use to feed the bonsai, feed your pots or whatever you will need it for. So it's a good idea to get it. Now on the map, right now we're in the Garden of Simples. Let's go to the police station so I will show you where the stuff is being stored. You can... You don't always have to fight everyone. There are some areas that you can avoid, that you can run away from if you don't want to fight someone. Some enemies are extremely tough and hard and you really don't want to mess with them. Be careful that some enemies, they do explode. So when you kill them, they can actually ruin your life by doing insane amount of damage to you on death. So be careful about that. So this is the police station, guys. You gotta be really careful around it because... This is the place where everybody goes. You can get ambushed here. You can get killed here. Someone was killed here. And there we go. Another guy shooting at us straight away. Briefcase. Nothing useful. So let's get out of here. Because we are not ready to fight that guy with the gun that he has. Someone died. Was it that guy? I don't know. It seems that this guy just died. That's nice. So... Um, yeah, we got a really nice uh, weapon right here. Let's reload it. 25 weapon, nice. And be mindful that while you're searching someone, you don't see what's happening around. So, you gotta be really careful on how you do it. Uh, so you won't be in trouble. So you won't be one shot at. Now, uh, it's a good idea to place a landmine to trap enemies. Because when you kill someone... You get the reward for that. So, yeah, landmines are nice. Someone will therefore get caught on that and, and die. So, yeah, let's not waste our chance to do that. Let's get the ammo and someone is coming. Let's get out of here. I don't want to die right now. I don't want to fight ever, anyone as well. And at this mark, about 7 to 5 minutes into the game, let's, let's hide here. You will be able... Um, to get the elevator. Those elevators on the map, the green ones, are available. You can come to them, call elevator, and go back to your hotel. So that's how you leave the area. And I think that's what we need to do. Moreover, like for us right now, we need some specific components. And it's a good idea to search that before 
living. So we will go to this uh, grapevine complex, this area on the right, and try to find uh, the stuff that we need. But be really careful, guys. You can be killed really, really fast in this game. We got the microchip. That's just what we needed, guys. We are really lucky today. So let's get this one. And probably we just get the hell out of here. So we got six minutes left. Look at that. There is an enemy right here. Six minutes left. That's not that much. Wait. Do we need to know? Oh my god, there are so many of them. Let's get the nearby elevator on the right next to the police station. That's a good place for me. And get the hell out. So, uh, it's a good idea to go out of the area maybe like 3 to 5 minutes into the game. Because you need some, some time to get that elevator. I think it's like 30 seconds. Let's check. Let's see. I think it's like... 5.30, so there we go, we got the exact timing now, and when you call the elevator, guys, it will make a lot of noise, some people might, might come and kill you, because they, they know that when you're leaving you are full of loot, or you are injured, and something like that, so they will try to ambush you and kill you, so be mindful, and it's better to stay away from the elevator while it's being called, but we are really curious on when it will be, and it will also attract monsters as well, so we called it at like 5.30, it's like 5.00, Exactly 30 seconds to call the elevator. So let's get the hell out of here. And keep in mind that you can't use the elevator if you have enemies nearby. It won't let you out. So you gotta think about that. At the end of each level, you will get the recap and uh, you will get the credit points for killing things and others. Other players and monsters, basically. And for completed missions as well. That will allow you to increase your credit score, basically your level. The higher it is, the higher the percentage is, the more money you will get for selling things, like that's percentage of their value. Moreover, some quests require you to have higher value. When you die during the quest, you will get the lower, like it, it can go lower, it can go down. So try not to die, guys. Moreover, like we got really lucky right now because we got everything we needed and uh, I mean, when you get the good loot, like we did, we got the rare microchip that we needed a lot. It's a good idea to boil out and run somewhere, you know, before you will get killed and store it in your base. Because it will save you up. Later on, you can give it in, get the reward, and that will be nice. Sometimes, guys, it's a better idea to run than to fight someone if they feel too strong for you. So, yeah, don't rush things. It's better to be alive at most times because when you die you lose everything so you don't really want that guys and guys when you feel that it's enough for today when you want to get rest when your health the red bar is low when your uh, how it's called hunger is almost full the fuller it is the less you can eat like when it's full you can't eat anymore the normal food uh you can go and rest in your place although all perishable goods will rot we know about that sleep anyway and the new day will start and in the new day you might have new adventures and guys this is a really useful map i found on steam made by arhaxad and here you can see where everything is i told you about police station over there over here you can find the weapons parks are the areas where you can find the graveyard as well this park this park where you can find ammo uh then there are, there are positions of all npcs the, the traders that you will need to find and based on what you need like here is the legend here those are the areas where you can find them so for example in the chateau that you got in the tutorial you can find gold you already know that um kawaii wharf uh, here on the right you can find tools, uh, office supplies in the complex we've been to and all that stuff like Central Hospital is a place for the medicine and uh, you know the blood pills, the upgrades, all that stuff so nice place. You can go to the place that you need for stuff that you need so if you're looking for something specific you need to go to specific areas there will be higher chances of finding what you need. And other than that what advice I can give you guys don't be sad if you die you will die often and i died like a lot of times but i had my good times just consider that all you need is your basic pistol and some ammo or maybe just hands that will be enough for you to do most missions so you don't really need to 
go rush and get the weapons. As I said, if you avoid police station, you most likely won't encounter that many enemies. Most people die in the police station or in the park, or by the random occasion if you will find someone. Moreover, be careful because sometimes I found people grouping up on the Discord, they kind of connect, go together in a group, in a run, and there they gank on you, like there were three guys going for me at once. That was horrible, so don't be disappointed about that. That's a game, you can't avoid that. And other than that, if you have your own advices, let me know in the comments down below. While you're going there, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family <laughs> who plays this game. And yeah, check the pinned comment and the video description for additional links. We have the playlist over there with more guides and stuff. We have the uh, link tree with all my social media, Discord, other YouTube channels and that kind of stuff. And you probably will find something useful there for sure. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.